What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Mount Mograph. I got Summit 53 coming at you today, a five-minute quick tip all about actions. So what actions do, uh, they reside in a lot of Adobe programs, one of which that I use all the time is Illustrator, which is After Effects and Cinema 40s, in my opinion, little brother, because it helps so much and is uh, essential to my workflow. So what actions do is automate tasks that I find myself doing every day, and they just make it so you can have a shortcut for those tasks. So I just did one, and uh, this is something I do all the time. I have cut out an object and duplicated it so I can do this nice little kind of shadow effect for all kinds of different designs, typically like character designs or shadows or something. Um, and maybe if I pick like a blue color, I'll launch my action and uh, then do this little trick. And now I have a nice shadow or whatever it may be uh, to my object. So this is a very nice little trick. And uh, what you can do uh, for these actions, if you go up into window and just well, grab your actions and uh, drop this down here, you can actually create custom actions. So here's my MJ custom, which is just some ones I made that I use a lot. And uh, let's go ahead and create a new one. I'll just show you how easy this actually is. So uh, what I do is you create a new action and you can name it whatever you want. Let's call this one super test man and uh, set a function key. So I'm going to set this one over to, I'm going to say F6 and you can do shift or command as well. And uh, I actually have F6 already linked to something. So I got shift F6, which is going to be very annoying and not helpful to uh, do. So if I go ahead and click record, what we're going to want to do is, uh, well, you want to previously have your scene set up to what the task is you want to do. So if I was to say I draw a lot of octagons, I'll draw an octagon. And as you can see, it says polygon tool and also uh, does what the dimensions are of this polygon. And let's say I also find myself copying the polygon and pasting it. It's recording this and it's pasted it in the middle. And then let's say it pastes it again and then moves it. So I will click stop on my action and uh, it's now recorded. So I got this super test man. Let me delete these uh, octagons here and do uh, shift F6 if I remember correctly. And I now have launched my task again and I have this wonderful uh, octagon design that I use all the time, I guess. So you can do this for literally anything inside this program. You can do super complex ones for moving stuff, coloring stuff, gradients on stuff. Uh, text, fonts, whatever the heck you want. But as you can see, it's incredibly helpful. Uh, one of the ones that I definitely uh, enjoy using, if uh, for characters especially, if I was to just draw a quick leg or something that looks like a not normal shape, um, what I do often is find myself uh, not making octagons, but flipping the object uh, horizontally. And as you can see, this is flip horizontal. It's just reflecting it, which is right click, uh, transform, reflect, and then you pick your uh, dimension. So that's something that I found myself doing all the time. And I got so sick of crawling through the menu to do that. Uh, so that is nice. Additionally, I have one that I found I use, uh, which is just pasting an object in place, which is normally command C and shift command V to paste it in place. I just made another one. Um, and I linked it to F1. So when I launch that, just times one copy, copy in place. And I have another tech copy right there, which is great for building things. Uh, another one I use quite often is uh, pasting two copies in place. And this is when I use the Pathfinder to cut stuff out into the shadow like I just talked about. So if I go ahead and click F2, it's going to launch my times two in place. And that's going to create two copies in the place. And then I'll be able to drag it off centered a little bit. And cut it out with my pathfinder and then just uh, add a color and I have a nice shadow to this object which is really great for flat design and then I also did one for expanding stuff and simplifying meshes so that is all about actions inside illustrator uh, really have fun with it create stuff that makes tons of polygons octagons whatever the heck you want paste it in place moves it around and makes a mess on your screen anyway this was Matt from Mount Mograph I hope you enjoyed Summit 53 uh, the illustrator quick tip uh, on actions and uh, look for a summit 52 it's uploading right now i'll talk to you guys later peace out